Avengers Endgame. So I just got back from my early showing of Avengers Endgame, uh, which is really cool to actually get a showing, an early showing of it. I'm not the biggest Marvel fanboy, I'll be quite honest. I'm not a huge fan of it. I've been quite critical about some of the movies in the past. Uh, however, that said, I just want to sh get straight off the bat. I think this film was pretty good. I think it um, did everything I wanted it to do. Um, I don't don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a perfect piece of cinema, I don't think it's even a nearly perfect piece of cinema, but it's not a bad film, it is a good film. Um, I do want to say, this one will be non-spoiler, I'm going to be splitting them up, I did announce this on my Discord, uh, so basically all I said is, I just watched Endgame, I'm going to record my non-spoiler and then my spoiler review now. Um, I've decided to separate them mainly because I'm not sure... I'm not 100% sure the legality of if I'm allowed to spoil it in a video or not because it's technically not been released yet. Uh, I didn't have to sign anything on anything for my like um, early showing, but I didn't really disclose that I have a YouTube channel. To, you know, I know it's not a big YouTube channel, but I do have. A, I didn't really disclose that because I didn't. Re I don't really want to. I like to keep my YouTube private. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just post the non-spoiler now, and then the spoiler I'm going to post at 3am GMT on Thursday, so that is when the UK version, around about when the UK version, uh, the first release date of the UK version would have wrapped up around that time, so I think that's appropriate to upload it then, so I'll record the video today uh, just to prove that I watched it, but um, yeah, uh, I do also want to say there is no end credit scene, so don't wait. I waited, and I was sorely disappointed because there was no end credit scene, and it's uh, 22 uh, 4 in the morning at the minute. So um, yeah, there was no end credit scene, so don't wait around. Um, there is like a little credit sequence, like there's a sequence they do in the credits that you, I guess, you can watch. It was kind of cool, um, but yeah, there isn't actually there isn't an actual proper traditional end credit scene in this one, which I think I, I kind of suspected anyway, but I I wanted to make sure. Uh, but yeah, there is nothing, uh, so don't bother waiting if if you're that bothered, unless you want to watch that sequence that I talked about. Anyway, we're gonna get some good things, some bad things, and also um, uh, a neutral thing. So I'm gonna like I said, this will be non spoilers. There'll be no spoilers in this whatsoever. So feel free to watch this all the way through before you watch the film if you want to hear my thoughts on it. Um, I don't normally want to split these videos up at all. I want to just talk about spoilers, but because I got an early uh, an early showing of it, I think it's only like no one really wants to know the spoilers at this early because there's. There's very few people who would have seen it this early, so there's no point in me posting my spoilers right now anyway. So I'll post it for any of you guys who watch the midnight showing. Uh, when you come back from the midnight showing, it'll be up for you guys to watch. <clears throat> anyway, if you watch the midnight showing. So we'll go for some good things first. So first of all, I just want to say that the storyline, for the most part, was really good. Um, I think there was some technical science jargon in there, and I don't think it was very too complicated to understand. I think it was really well uh, explained. It wasn't too complicated. I mean, there was, you know, there is a lot of complications in there, but they explained it very well. I think the editing wasn't very, wasn't disjointed. There were some really nice long shots in this film. Um, you know, on a technical level, there were some really nice camera shots in this film. I think they, the Russo, Russo brothers, um, they, they did a, a fairly good job with this, um, and yeah, I, I quite liked what they did with that. It wasn't too it wasn't too disjointed at all. It was really really well done. Most of the editing and camera work it was okay. I mean there was a few little nods here and there which I wasn't too fond of, but hey ho, the, I mean I never like all the editing and camera work in a film. Um music was on point for the most part. I think it was well done. Some of the Avengers music is sometimes just way overbearing, but I think for the most part this film it was okay. Uh, the characters. Now, this is one thing that I always get worried about these big ensemble movies, but I think they were fairly balanced well. Uh, I think there was a keen spotlight on Captain America and Iron Man, which I really wanted in this film, and they did that quite well. There, there, there's other characters who are spotlighted too, which I won't really reveal, because I think that's kind of... I think you you guys should watch that without knowing, but I will say that Captain America and Iron Man, their spotlights, as in how much they're focused on in the film, was well done. Uh, and you know those are the two biggest Avengers, so I um I think it, it's needed almost for them to have uh, a good a good spotlight. I think the stakes were really good, although the, although obviously it's an Avengers film, and the stakes were definitely in Infinity War. Obviously, uh, if you haven't seen Infinity War, there will be a spoiler for Infinity War, but I presume that everyone's seen Infinity War anyway. Obviously, with the whole snap and all the deaths, um. I my issue with that is I predicted um my prediction before this movie was that's going to get reversed and I think everyone 
had that prediction that it was going to be reversed. I won't say if it has been reversed or not. I'm not going to say. Uh, but I, regardless of that, I think the stakes were really uh, on point in this film. Um, which I don't, I was actually kind of worried about because my issue with superhero stuff is there's just no stakes, uh, especially with Captain Marvel. And I'll talk a bit more about Captain Marvel in my spoiler review, but um, I did like how, what they did with Captain Marvel, is what I'll say. Um, because, and essentially, she is just the Marvel's version of Superman, and that kind of made me a little, eh, is that going to work? Because I don't like it when there are no stakes. I think the jokes for the the jokes were really good. Um and this is the thing, humor has often been Marvel's strong point. I think Marvel's best films have always been the humorous ones. Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, for Ragnarok. These these two these two really those two examples for example work really well because they actually balance the seriousness with humor and they don't they don't take themselves too seriously because they are a dumb comic book film and i don't want them to take seriously this is why like a tv show like preacher i think preacher is a really good tv show because it doesn't take itself too seriously uh and and because it's a comic book show same with this it's a comic book film i don't want it to take itself too ter too seriously but i do realize obviously they are trying to save the world essentially save the universe actually so there needs to be some level of seriousness but i think they balanced it out really good with the jokes there was one or two jokes that were, i think were a little out of place um but for the most part the humor was good and the ending um, I won't obviously reveal what happens, but I think the ending, all I will say is the ending, for me anyway, I found very satisfying. I think it was a good way to end it. There's a little tweaks here and there, which I think they could have improved on, but for the most part, I quite enjoyed the ending. Uh, and again, I'll talk about, about more of the ending in my um, spoiler review. The violence. Um, there was one particular scene, which I think the violence was actually... Uh, they didn't shy away from it too much, and they did it quite well. Uh, for the most part, I quite liked the violence in this. And again, this is another thing that annoys me about superhero films. A lot of them are 12A, and of course, they sacrifice a lot of the violent scenes so they can get the 12A rating, so they can play it to kids. Um, and that annoys me because it just you're just cutting the balls off your film if, you, if you're um, doing that. But I think for the most part, apart from, again, a few here and there, the violence was actually on point for this. I mean, you are dealing with little alien aliens and that as well, as well as humans. But I think the violence was actually on point. I quite liked it. So not really going to complain too much about that. <clears throat> I also have a neutral point, um, which is, um, I guess, n neither bad nor good, but just meh. Um, I mean, it's not bad or good. It, you can take it either way. My neutral point is just like Infinity War, it's not a conventional movie at all. Uh, but even more so than Infinity War, because there is no protagonist in this film, really. Um, you could argue it's Captain America. You could argue it's Iron Man. I would say if it's anyone, it's Iron Man. Uh, in in Endgame, <coughs> but the thing with Infinity War. <clears throat> is Thanos was the clear protagonist, although he was a bad guy, he was the protagonist of uh, Infinity War because all the story beats followed him. Uh, but with um, this, uh, there is no um, protagonist really, like a real clear protagonist because all the characters go in their own separate ways, uh, like Infinity War. So it's really not a conventional movie at all. Um, and that's not a bad nor good thing. If anything, it's, it, it's more of a good thing than a bad thing if you're able to pull that off because you're breaking conventions. I don't like it when Hollywood set these conventions and you have to do this, this, and this. There are certain things you have to do <coughs> in a film. But, yeah. Um, I think this one did it really well. I just muted because I coughed. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, we'll get into some bad things. Now, I have a few bad points, but I do want to talk about them. Uh, three bad points. Uh, so the first first bad point is the first 20 minutes of the film. For me, I just joined it. And I find this a lot with comic book films. It's always the first 20, half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour. I had a similar issue with Captain Marvel. I think this, for me... For me First 20 minutes, man, just disjointed. It was kind of structured a little poorly, in my opinion. It wasn't in ter it wasn't terrible to the point where it threw me out of the film. I just think it could have been structured way better, um, in my opinion. But that's it. Um, and then also my second bad point uh, is Thanos. I didn't think Thanos was well, uh, wasn't as compelling. And he kind of sucked, I, I'll be honest. There are some reasons for that, which I won't go into, uh, but... 
I just found him, he wasn't as compelling as he was in Infinity War. I guess in a way his arc's already kind of come to an end in Infinity War, or at least him trying to, um, you know, complete his goal. Which he essentially completed in Infinity War, obviously. Um, his goal shifts in this one, but I just think overall, because we kind of got all the backstory of Thanos in Infinity War, this Thanos um, feels a little, uh, little under under not underdeveloped but underwhelming um but overall i mean he wasn't terrible i think the film was just more focusing on um these characters so they didn't really give as much time to thanos which whatever i'm not too bothered about because i think it worked anyway i just would have liked some more with thanos i just i don't know if they could have rewritten him a little bit um you know the way he speaks the way he acts the things he does in this film i think they could have tweaked some things there to make him a little bit uh, better i just don't think he was as compelling and i do think my third negative point is it did feel a little bit crowded with characters at times but again that's a given with the ensemble of characters that they have in this film um so yeah um that's all my points overall do i recommend it i do recommend it if you're a marvel fan definitely obviously i know i don't even need to say that because i know for a fact every marvel fan's going to see this if you're just a fan, <coughs> sorry, I'm muted again. If you're just a fan of these films or you like one or two of them, I would definitely would recommend it. There's some humor in there. There's some cool action in there. There's some cool character moments in there. And I think it's going to be a piece of cinema that's, you know, it's going to go down in history as, a, as one of the uh, most famous pieces of history. I can, I can see in 30 years time, people will be speaking of this film like they spoke about Star Wars. So definitely would recommend it just for the history. Um, but anyway, in terms of my rating, what do I rate this film overall? Um, like I said, overall, um, there's more positives than the negatives. There was a few negative things. Like I said, it's not a perfect piece of cinema, but I do think it was a very good film. I think it's a very nice bookmark for the Avengers. I don't. I know they're going to do films after this with Spider-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy and all that, but for the most part, I think it was very good, and I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Um... I, I think it deserves that score. I wouldn't go any higher than that. I think 8 out, of, 8 out of 10 is a generous score. I think it's closer to a 7 than it is a 9. Uh, but I just gave it that little edge. Uh, mainly for the ending. Um, and uh, I'll talk about that in my spoiler review. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm literally going to hit stop record now. And then hit start record for my spoiler. So, see you next, next, see you next time. And if you want to see my spoiler review, it will be out. Thursday, 3 a.m. GMT. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tell me your thoughts on this review. Tell me if you're excited. Tell me what you think is going to happen. But no spoilers. Uh, I will be moderating the comments. So any spoilers in, in the description will be deleted um, until like a week passes. And then I won't be, I won't be asked to monitor in this video because you should have seen it by then. Anyway, goodbye.